Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. Um, I guess you know that if you're watching this channel, but to new folks, yes, I'm Carrie. Welcome to Butterfly's Landing. Um, if you watched my last video, I, you will know that I am currently out of town. I am actually with my husband in Cherry Hill, New Jersey for a horror convention called Monster Mania. It is an absolute blast, but I'm having very, very, very many feels right now because unfortunately, it is 4.56 and the con officially ends at 5 o'clock. So I am really bummed right now, but it, like I said, if you saw yesterday's video, you also would have seen that I purchased these amazing little mystery items from one of the awesome, awesome vendors. And I will put their info in the drop box as soon as I get back home to New York on Tuesday or possibly on Wednesday, depending on what time we leave, because I don't know how to do that stuff very well on my phone. But they're super awesome people, and they make their own mystery blind boxes. And they have these super, super cute ones that come in these alien-shaped eggs. These actually glow in the dark. They're amazing. Love, love, love. And then they have all different colors of these super cute little trash cans. I learned from last night's video to untape this before I started recording and to unscrew the lid on this before I started recording. So hopefully I'll be able to get everything out with one hand. But these can contain so many different things. They said candy could be in here, buttons, magnets, stickers, all sorts of random super fun stuff. So first up, I'm going to open the alien. And again, this is super cute, and the alien is amazing in itself because it glows in the dark. Um, to see, don't mind my lovely peeling nail polish. It's been such a great weekend, you guys. You have no idea. So much fun. All right, first thing, we have some bazooka bubble gum, which is, of course, a classic, although this is a totally different package than I've ever seen. I really don't chew gum that often, but it'll be fun to chew this because bazooka just gives me feels from my childhood. And yeah, I have a funky cuticle like up here too. Sorry guys, but that'll be fun to chew. Next up, we have this little magnet of some kind. I'm trying not to peek at anything else. I'm trying to like just look at one thing at a time to prolong the fun. It is, I don't know. It looks like some kind of a wizard with like a big sword or something. Okay, I'm starting to learn how to focus, you guys. So just give me a minute. Let me see if I can get this to focus or zoom. There we go, okay, it's kind of focused now. I have no idea what this is, but it's neat looking and it's a magnet. And these are made really nice. It's like a huge magnet on the back. It covers the whole back, so it's not like cheaply made where like the magnet's gonna fall off or whatever. I mean, it's it's heavy enough that it'll actually hold something decent like on your fridge or a bulletin board. So cute, cute, cute. This is actually what I kind of saw through the egg that drew my eye to this particular egg. And it is indeed just what I had hoped. It is a toad from Super Mario Brothers. It's like one of those little launchy ones. I haven't had one of these since I was really little. You press the bottom down. Let me see if I can get it to stick. Oh, is it not working? Sometimes I think you have to kind of, I don't know, moisten this part, maybe with like your body sweat. How disgusting, but yeah, let me see if I can get this to press down. All right, it's not working. They're supposed to be like little springer things. But it's not springing, but it actually works like this, sort of like a little bobblehead. It's really, really cute. I might actually even take the suction cup part off and just have it be like a totally wacky wobbler. But I saw this, it looked like Toad, and I like Toad, so I thought that was really, really cute. Actually, not Toad, it's the mushroom. But it, like, Toad has the mushroom head. Anyway, rambles. But that's really, really cute. And again, let me try to get this to focus back in again. Okay, cool. And the last item in this particular egg, we have another magnet, and this one is Iron Man. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm kind of digging that. You can sort of see my reflection and my phone's reflection, which I don't want you to. But anyway, that's what came in that one. These eggs, they sell for $2, so you get all those goodies and the egg itself for 2 bucks. Super, super cool. They're really, really nice, and I have purchased a couple things that actually hooked me up on that one. Thank you guys, you're amazing. And now this little garbage can goes for $10. I think I mentioned that already. But let's see what is inside. I'm pushing it away because I really don't wanna see anything and I don't wanna show anything on camera until I pull it out. But holy crap, you guys, the first thing I see. Oh my God, you guys. Look who it is, it's Gizmo. 
Gizmo from the Gremlins, you guys. He is so cute and soft. You don't even know. Oh, he is precious. I love him. And he's a nice size, too. I mean, like, I don't, again, I don't, I'm covering the trash can. But look at, compared to, like, the trash can, he comes up almost as high. He's really, really cute and super, super soft plush. Okay, I love him. I'm so excited. And I've got to add, too, that the actual garbage can itself is an extra item. So, I mean, that's really nice, too. As you can put all kinds of random stuff in here. And with the buttons and the um, and the magnets being so small, you get a lot. They tend to really fill these bad boys. Next up, I got one of these in my last one as well. And I don't want to share my reflection. It is a Batman Returns collector card. The last one I had had Michael Keaton as Batman and Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. This one here has Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Very cool. And it's got some tidbits on the back. It says, as you can see, with his portrayal of the male malevolent penguin in Batman Returns, superstar Danny DeVito adds yet another vivid characterization to his already impressive gallery of performances. That is very, very cool. And, of course, there is, I believe Tim Burton directed this. That looks like Tim Burton. Very cool. It's a top stadium club card, and it is from 1992. So that's really neat, and I like that they include the little plastic sleeve so it stays nice for you. So that's that. Actually, I'm going to put these egg items aside so you can see what just was in the trash can. And again, this was supposed to be a shorter video, but I'm rambling, but that's okay. Whatever. So, so far, we've got Gizmo, and we've got the Penguin card. Next up, you guys, we have got a pack of Series 2 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. These originally went for 25 cents from Topps, second series. Five cards, one sticker, and yes, one stick of bubble gum, which I haven't had a pack of cards with gum in it since I was a little girl. That's really cool. And this, you guys, is actually from 1990. So you are talking 26 years old, these are. And they would probably be worth more on opens, but of course I will be opening them. Maybe I'll do it on camera. We'll see, depending on how long this video goes for. But anyways, that's what I got so far. Next up, we've got some more Gremlins-related merchandise. We have got this adorable gizmo. Is this a notepad? Oh my god. This is a Gremlins sticker book, you guys. I love stickers, like, more than life itself. Okay, this is really cool. Ironic. It says, Running Press, Philadelphia and London, because I am right now about 20 minutes outside of Philly. So that's really cool. Let me show you what we've got in here. <gasps> Look at that cute gizmo. Oh, my gosh. These are really cool. These are all stickers, you guys. There's some of the naughty gremlins. They're checking out a 3D movie with their popcorn. This is really, really cool. There's another mean gremlin. I don't remember any of their names except for Gizmo. I haven't seen gremlins in a really long time. I haven't seen the second one ever. Oh, he's scared. Um, I've only seen the original movie, and it's been a long, long time. They're chilling out with beer and cards. That Gizmo is so, so, so cute. I love that shot of him. I love that there's so many Gizmos in here. That's really cool. And that, I think it's it, yes. But that is really cool. I thought that was cool as a notebook, but the fact that it's a sticker book is so much better. So again, already for the 10 bucks, we've got the Super Super Gizmo, the sticker book, the pack of Turtles cards, and the Batman Returns individual card. All right, next up, guys, we have, this is the business card. I'm so glad they include this because I want to put their info out there for you guys. Check them out on Instagram. And here is their website. They are the nicest couple. They're such, such, such sweet, friendly people. I just adore them. I know I will be frequenting their their stand at each Monster Mania I attend. As long as they're here, I will keep sh shopping with them because they are such awesome, nice people. All right, guys. I'm getting a peek before you because I can't help it. I'm reaching into the, the can, but you guys... This is a ginormous magnet, and it is Mega Man, and you can totally see my reflection, so I'm kind of shooting this this way, because I don't, I don't mind you seeing a little bit of gizmo in the background, but yeah, 
Okay, that way you can't see me. That is really cute. And again, a ginormous magnet covers the entire back. They really take their time to like make good quality items. They're not just fun and kitschy things. And like I said, some of these are, you know, way more than 20 years old. So they're just super, super fun things. They're collectors themselves. So I mean, they understand the kinds of fun things that collectors would want. So I'm really thrilled with this already. This would be worth the $10, but there's more. Okay, next item up, guys. We have got a watermelon airhead. The best flavor of airheads, in my opinion. And that's always fun. Always nice to have a little sweet treat. Next up, you guys. Okay, this may be the same thing I got last night. And if it is, I am completely, completely, completely fine with that. Okay, this I'm not going to be able to do with one hand. So let me pause for just a sec. Okay, guys, check it out. This is the same item I got last night. It is Bigfoot stickers. How cool are these? You get the Bigfoot and you get all these footprints. And I found out today from the vendor that these are actually a cereal box premium. And if you look on the packaging, where did I just see that? There were three styles. I have the same one. Check it out. 1988 Kellogg Company. So that is really amazing that they had these for all these years and that they were still sealed up. I mean, that's just craziness. I'm so excited because I really didn't want to use my stickers because then I wouldn't have them like to save. So now I can use a set and save a set. So this is phenomenal. Phenomenal, you guys. And yeah, this is going to be another long video, but oh well. Okay, this again is a repeat item from yesterday, but I have no complaints. It is this really, really cute Super Mario plastic coin. It just has the little icon on the back, the line or the one or whatever. It is so cute. I love him. He's nice and shiny and I'm trying not to show my reflection. So again, this is the content so far. Super, super cool. And there's so much more, you guys. All right, this, let's see. Oh my god. It is a Ninja Turtle. It's so cute. It's like a finger puppet Ninja Turtle. He's made of like hard, hard rubber. He's really cute. Honey, which Ninja Turtle has the purple mask? Oh, my husband doesn't know off the top of his head. If you guys know, you can certainly leave a comment below. This is not as old. It's from 19, uh, 2019, 2014, made by Viacom. Or copyright Viacom. And then it says, design... Design wear, okay, is the company. But that's really cute. And I have like, you know, big old adult fingers and it fits my finger just fine. And notice I'm not putting it on the finger to the right, which I could because that's totally me. But I will be nice because I love you guys. So that is everything so far. And there is more, 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 more. <laughs> okay, again, two more items. And these again are repeats from last night. We get ourselves a red ninja and a black ninja and these guys can have it out there they are yeah what's what more is there to say ninjas ninjas are cool you should consider yourself lucky you can actually see them because ninjas are very, very stealth and you can't always see them when they're coming all right guys i feel some buttons and some magnets in here let's see what's next all right next up we have a magnet and this magnet says Mighty Max. And I am not familiar with this character. I'm trying to peer through here. He's got an M on his shirt and a little baseball cap and some jeans. I don't know who Mighty Max is. But again, it's a really nicely well-made, nicely and well-made magnet. So there's that. Okay, let's just count, guys. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 items already. So every item in here that we've gotten is less than a dollar, technically, when you think about it, because it's a $10 box. And there's more. And plus the, the garbage can itself. All right, we're going to go with a button this time. Oh, this feels like a good size button, let's say. Oop, magnets are sticking to it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you guys. Friday the 13th. Oh, this is the original Friday the 13th. Yeah, we got the Jason, like, poster art, probably, I would imagine, from the theatrical release. I'm not sure, but this is definitely iconic Friday the 13th art. I love that. It is a horror convention, so I did want something horror-related in there. Super, super cool. There's a couple more goodies. All right, this time we're going to grab another magnet, and let's see. 
Oh, that's hilarious. Again, did I not mention to you guys that we're about 20 minutes from Philadelphia? Well, how can you be in the Philly area and not get yourself a Rocky Balboa magnet? That is really cool. Check out Sly and his belt, his victory there. That is so awesome. I really am digging that. I love this kitschy stuff. It's so much fun. Look at all those good things. Again, it's gonna be a long video, you know, whatevs, guys. I can't help it, I'm really excited. I don't wanna rush any more than I am because I'm having a really good time with this. All right, next up we have, is this the DeLorean? I think this is supposed to be the DeLorean from Back to the Future. That is another button. That is really, really cool. I'm almost certain that that's the DeLorean. Yes, it is because you can see how the tires turn to the side there because it's getting ready to fly. Doc is launching it to go back in time. Very, very cool. All right, guys, I feel one, two, three, four more things, I think, in here. Ow, oh, I just stabbed myself with the button. All right, guys, this next button we have here is, oh, this is Batman and Robin, but they look really dark. I'm not sure who illustrated this particular Batman and Robin, but they're like super, like, just dark. I like that though, that's pretty cool, I'm digging that. That kind of reminds me of like Alex Ross style illustration, but I'm not positive. Probably isn't him, but it's really cool. All right, three more items, guys. I'm gonna do the two more buttons and then the last magnet so I don't impale myself again. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Bruce fucking Lee. <gasps> that is badass. And yes, kids, I know I said the F word. I can't help myself. Sometimes it's just going to happen. I apologize, but I got to be me, you know? That's very cool. I've actually, I am embarrassed to say, never seen a Bruce Lee movie, but I saw a drag in the Bruce Lee story that was fantastic. So obviously I got some glimpse into what an amazing man he was and how talented and spiritual and just, you know, troubled, but ultimately, you know, he found some peace in his life. So I'm, I'm happy to have that Bruce Lee. All right, next to last item, we have the Bride of Frankenstein button. Again, very, very cool, horror related. I'm digging that, that's awesome. Look again at all of this wonder and glory, you guys. Try to focus, there we go. One tap and it focuses. Who the hell knew? All right, guys. And one last item. And thank you for your patience and in indulging me with this. Is this not the best $10 a person could ever spend? And yes, my new friends hooked me up with a discount on this too because I adore them. They're fabulous. Last but not least. Oh, shut up. Oh, my God. It is Jason Voorhees and dun, 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 Alice Cooper. How badass is that, you guys? I, this literally kills me because they actually, one of the really fun events they do on the last day of this con at 2 o'clock, excuse me, at 12 o'clock, usually runs about two hours, they do an auction for a local Yorkie rescue. And um, I think a lot of you guys know that I now volunteer for an animal shelter called Pets for Love on Long Island, where I live. So I have a huge space in my heart for animals. And all, a lot of the vendors donate items to be sold. Um, a lot of the celebrities give autographed items to be sold. And it's such a fun event. I don't always win things or bid on things, but it's just super fun to attend. And my husband actually won an auction today. And one of the items he won was a size large Alice Cooper t-shirt that I am currently wearing as I shoot this. And I'm not a huge Alice Cooper fan. I mean, I know a couple songs of his and stuff, but I mean, he's an iconic guy. He's cool as hell. And it's Jason with Alice Cooper. Yeah, that's killer. And there is my empty can. So again, you guys, that is all the goodies I got for Typically, $10 it would have been. I paid less, again, because I got a deal from my amazing pals. And here is their info one more time. Ghastly Commodities, Instagram, at Ghastly Cat, www.ghastlycommodities.storeenvy.com. Check them out. They have all kinds of amazing stuff. And here, again, is my little mystery glow-in-the-dark alien egg with my Iron Man button, my mystery button, my bazooka and my Mario World little mushroom. 
In fact, I might even just take the mushroom completely off of this space and just keep it as a figurine because he's really, really cute. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me put this all together so you can see everything at once. But yeah, if I hadn't gotten a discount, this would have been $12 for all this amazing stuff. I mean, you can do the math if you count how many items are here. Such a good deal. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.